So, in this chapter, we are going to place these markers on our subject. You see Jason has volunteered for us today. So, there are a lot of different options for marker sets out there. I tend to prefer using clusters. Of course, if you go through the Visual 3D Basics course or see some of our other courses, you'll see that there are other options that we even teach, but I find clusters to be the most reliable, and we're going to apply them in such a way that we'll actually be able to use them for a conventional gate model as well. And later on in this course, we're going to compare the results. But before you place any other markers, it is easiest to place the clusters first so that while you're putting them on, you're not knocking other markers off. So now that we've placed our clusters about mid-thigh and mid-shank, we can place the rest of the markers. You see, the clusters have no anatomical reference. We're not using them to define a segment, per se, in the static trial. However, we are using them to track each segment dynamically, and we go over that extensively in Visual 3D Basics. But, now we're going to place the anatomical markers, which, following this guide, are placed medially and laterally on the knee and ankle joints, and on the ASIS and PSIS uh, references for the pelvis, and then also on the foot, on the first, second, and fifth metatarsals, and on the heel. One thing that I found that is really helpful is to use this uh, fake skin, which can be really helpful if your static markers at the knee and ankle are only gonna be on for the static trial. Since we're going to use this data also for a conventional gait model, I'm going to leave the lateral markers on, so I'm not going to use this today, but this might actually be very helpful in a clinical practice, as then you're not having to place markers directly on the skin, especially at the knee, it avoids some discomfort for your patient. So now that we have all the markers on Jason, we're going to uh, go on and record a static trial in the next chapter.